Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video for you all because of the fact this is a review of one of my favorite brands collaborating with one of my favorite all-time things ever that you all know me of. I cannot believe that this has actually happened. It's almost like a dream come true. I will give you a preview of what it is I'm talking about. Does this picture look familiar at all? Yes, you guessed it. Disney has collaborated with ColourPop to make a complete makeup collection. Now, I am super excited. They are showcasing the Disney princesses. The Disney princesses. And I, when I found out about this, I literally jumped up and down and started screaming, yes, yes, finally, yes. ColourPop is an amazing brand. They have very, very pigmented colors, very creamy, blendable, smooth colors for their eyeshadows. Their lip, their lip, Lippies are amazing, very pigmented, long-lasting. There's many different um, formulas, and they are all amazing. I don't have the full Disney collection yet um, because the PR box and the whole entire bundle was sold out before I got a chance to. However, for my birthday, I was given the Disney It's a Princess thing palette and this is the um this is the box that it came in and it's gorgeous it has completely gold and it has all of the disney princesses signatures on it i will say though there is one thing that was a little disappointing about this whole entire collection there is a few princesses that were not showcased one of them being a really major one, and I kind of am a little confused as to why she wasn't given her own spot in this princess thing, Disney collection. And that was Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. She is not on the palette. She's not in the Super Shock Shadows. She's not on the PR box. She doesn't have any part of this Disney collection. And I was really, really disappointed to find that. I was really disappointed. Um, however, that being said, for what we got, super amazing, and I am not complaining. So, I know you're all waiting to see what the actual palette looks like. And here it is, guys. This is the Disney Col Designer Collection by ColourPop, featuring the Disney Princesses. They have taken the Disney princesses and put a modern twist on it. So we have showcased Tiana, Ariel, which makes sense because Ariel is from the, came out in 89, which is a very 80s look for her. Belle, which is a very 90s look. Beauty and the Beast came out in 91. Jasmine, she's got a very funky 90s look as well and so that's got a lot going on for her snow white it's got a 1940s look going on but i also kind of think they mixed a little bit of greek goddess in with that um i'm a little confused on that aspect because snow white's a german princess and that's a german fairy tale from grim brothers but i kind of see a little bit where they were going with it with the 1940s look and 1930s look and here we've got Cinderella, who looks like a 1950s model, because um, her movie came out in the night in 1950. So it makes sense that she would look like a 1950s model. So I see where ColourPop was going with it. Now, before I show you the show the colors, I know that's what you're waiting for. I'm going to turn it over and show you what the name of the colors are. So the, we've got Chip. Juju, Grumpy, Triton, Abu, Prince Charming, Ray, Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, 
thingamabob, enchanted rose, poison apple, magic carpet, beast, and midnight curfew. So let's get in to the actual colors. Just quick, what I'm going to say, I just love how it's black and gold and then it's got specks of color everywhere. Like this is just perfect. Okay, let's get into the colors. And of course, right away at the top, you see all the princesses showcase their signatures at the beginning. There is no mirror on here, but I am okay with that because of the fact they included the princesses signatures. Okay, now we got the pretty colors. This is Chip, Juju, Grumpy, and with Grumpy, I kind of think that they were stretching it a bit with the, the name of this color because Grumpy wears a dark burgundy coat in the movie. Um, I'm not sure why they used a peachy color. I've been told that it's because that's the exact shade of Grumpy's nose. But I think they were stretching it a little bit far when they were coming up with some of these names. Um, this one right here is Triton. Again, I'm not for sure why they uh, used that color for Triton. My guess is because Triton's the king and he doesn't wear a top and he's shirtless. And that's this color of his skin. But I'm still kind of left confused because King Triton has a bright blue sky blue colored mermaid tail and that is definitely not sky blue this is more of like a tan color so color pop disney i'm not sure where you went with that um this one of course is on point a boo that's the exact color of a boo and then we got prince charming which is the exact color of prince charming's coat so that was really good um this is ray and he's from um, the Princess and the Frog. I'm pretty sure Ray is the crocodile. So, and if he is not, people better, like, let me know. But I'm pretty sure he is the crocodile. So I'm kind of confused as to why he's a gold color. Um, we got Fairy Godmother. And she normally wears, like, a lavender blue. But she's got a pink bow on her outfit around this shade. So I guess that's what they went with with that. One Kiss, not sure why it's gold, um, but yeah, I would have expected it to be like a more of a rosy red color maybe. Thingamabob, I love this shade and I love it. The pigment and everything is amazing. Thingamabob is silver, so that's perfect, even though Dinglehopper might have gone a little bit better since Dinglehopper's a fork. But you get what I'm saying. Enchanted Rose, I think, was good. Um, it's like a dusty rose, sparkly satin color. It's really gorgeous on the eyes. Poison Apple, not sure why they chose like a purplish pink color for that, but it is what it is. Magic Carpet, I kind of see where they went with it. That a dark purple carpet is a dark purple mixed with blue and gold fringes on it. Beast, obviously, I get why Beast is brown. I'm just not sure why he's all sparkly. Because if I'm thinking about the Beast, I'm not thinking about glitter and sparkles and all that kind of stuff. Maybe because he's enchanted and got an enchanted curse. Maybe that's why they went with the glitter. Um, and Midnight Curfew, obviously, is a dark color. Again, not sure... Why the sparkles? Maybe because it's midnight and she has till midnight before the magic wears off. So maybe that's why they chose sparkles for it. Um, I am actually going to swatch these colors for you, um, obviously, so we can see what they look like. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge Disney fan. So I'm kind of a little critical of the colors they chose and the names just because to me, I think they could have done a little bit of a better job, but the formula and the actual shades to use in your looks are amazingly beautiful. And I'm not complaining because it's Disney and I love Disney. So let's get on with the swatches. I'm gonna do Chip right now. He's really light, he's like a skin tone color. Then Juju. Juju. 
juju. Grumpy is more of like a orangey salmon color. We got Triton. It's coppery gold. And then a boo. So we got those colors again. Like I said, chips not really showing up because it's almost the exact color of my wrist. So you could almost get um, you could almost get his uh, that as a highlighter. Um, let me try and see if I can get it on my hand to swatch better. Those are those colors. You can see it a little bit better on my hand. Um, for the, so that's the first row. Chip, Juju, Grumpy, Triton, and Abu. So let's move on to the third row of the third row of colors. So now I'm going to go in with Prince Charming. Ray, Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, and Thingamabob, which I told you is one of my favorites. So that's that row. We've got Prince Charming, Ray, Fairy Godmother, One Kiss, and Thingamabob. And so for the last shades I'm going to show you. I'm going to swatch them real quick. This is Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, Magic Carpet, Beast, and Midnight Curfew. And these ones are the real sparkly ones. So again, Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, which it actually applies well, almost like a candied apple red. So I guess it's not so bad. It just appears in the pan as like a purplish color. This one is Magic Carpet, which kind of goes on as like a brown. But maybe it'll apply better and blend better as a purple. Beast, and you can see the sparkles. Midnight Curfew sparkles. So these were all the swatches for the Disney palette. And I bet you all are dying to see a look. So I'm going to put together a look for you all that goes with my current outfit for today. So I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow Blending Brush. And first off, I'm going to start off with the color Chip to see use as my first transition shade. So I'm going to go in like this. And I've already primed and got my skin all ready for this. So I'm just going in with my under my eye brow bone. Okay. So I like to use mattes into my crease. Um, so right now I'm going to use the color. Let's go in with the color Triton. Yeah, let's go in with the color Triton in my crease. You just blend that together. And now with the other color. Blend that in. Over the crease. And now I'm going to go in with more of a pinky color. And I'm going to go in with the Fairy Godmother along in my crease. It's more of a satin color. I'm going to go in. That. And then Fairy Godmother on the other side. Okay. 
And then the next color I'm going to go in with is I'm going to use my eyeshadow lid brush and I'm going to go in with Enchanted Rose. I'm just going to put that on the lid. I'm going to go in on the other side. I'll apply that. And I don't get very much fallout from these shadows either. Which is also a big plus because... I just don't like using eyeshadows where there's a bunch of fallout and then you have eyeshadow all over your palette and then it looks messy. So then the last color that I'm going to go in with, like I told you, is my favorite one and it's Thingamabob. And I'm going to go in on the inner part of my eye with Thingamabob. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush that I just used and blend all of this together. Here's a closer look at how the look turned out. And I will finish with my complete look on that and I will show you how it looks. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So here is the finished look. So this is more of like a nudie daytime look to go out. And you can also play it up any way you want with um, any of the other shades to make it darker for the evening to go out or whatever. Um, so that's the palette. This palette is amazing. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. It's Again, it's called It's a Princess Thing. And it only retails for $20 on the ColourPop website, So, and they still have some of these in stock. So if you love this and want to try it, go to ColourPop.com and order it, or you can go to ShopDisney.com, and they also are selling the Disney Designer Collection on ShopDisney.com. Now, the other product that I received for my birthday that's part of the Disney Designer Collection is the Under the Sea. This is the shade, the name of the shade is Under the Sea. And it is a super one of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, and this is a different formula of a shadow that is in the palette. This is absolutely amazing. It's one of my absolute favorite shades, and I'm so happy that I got it for my birthday because it's just beautiful. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. You just glide it on your finger. I barely did anything, and this is what the color turned out to be. Swatch it for you on my hand just beautiful it's the exact color of ariel's mermaid tail just gorgeous and the fact that they called it um under the sea is just perfect so and the super shock shadows retail for five or six dollars a piece so if you don't want to spend the twenty dollars to get the full palette and you just want like maybe one of the shades of the super shock shadows this is gorgeous five dollars is a good deal for a full size eyeshadow like this at this kind of formula. It's very satiny and shimmery and I just think that it's gorgeous. And we'll go with any look and any eye color. So this was the review of the Disney Designer Collection of Color Pops eyeshadow palette and their super stock shadow of Under the Sea. Now I would recommend this palette for anybody. If you're a Disney lover, I would get it just, if you don't particularly like the, the shades, I would get it anyway just because it's Disney, but that's my personal preference. I believe they have shades in here for everyday use on the go um, for any look. You could use this palette for any look possible. Um, I don't like the fact that they didn't utilize all the princesses. They didn't put Aurora in there, so that was a little bit of a bummer. I Like I said before, I am a little critical of the name of the shades. Um, just because I'm a hardcore Disney fan and I kind of think they could have done a little bit better with the naming of the shades. But 
That's my own personal opinion. But I personally love this collection, the Disney collection, and I can't wait for myself to buy more of the Disney collection so I can review it all for you and I can have it to add to my personal collection. Just so I can say that I have Disney makeup that is good that I can actually use. That's not like geared towards kids because this is actually geared towards adults like us who love Disney. It's like the inner child in us that we can use this. So that being said, I hope you all enjoyed my review. If you would like to see more reviews about this, please hit like, subscribe, and comment which products you would like to be, have reviewed. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you have any like comments, things that um, things that you feel about the Disney collection, what your opinions are about it. Um, if you're excited to get it, if you have it already, if you like it or what you thought of it. Um, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss my miss notifications of a new video upload. And as always, I hope you all stay beautiful and have a wonderful day. Bye.